Working together in Gaston County, we can improve the quality of our environment, especially our air and water resources. Well, here it is the 10th anniversary of the Quality of Natural Resources Commission. Hi everybody, I'm Joey Pop. This presentation is a chance for you to get involved with QNRC and also to reflect on our history in order to look ahead to our future. And if we don't take an active role, then we're going to suffer. Our, our children and our grandchildren are going to suffer in the future for it. We need to protect our environment. That's County Commissioner David Ward. He was one who had the foresight and vision to establish QNRC to preserve our county's air and water. Since then, dozens of residents from farmers to doctors have stepped forth and taken an active role to protect our greatest resources. Gaston County, get involved! The solution is public and official awareness. Uh, these are problems that can be handled. Like reducing contamination of storm drains, what we have found is that many times people don't realize that storm drain water goes directly into our rivers and streams and then finally flows into the Catawba. More volunteers are needed to help with QNRC's education programs like storm drain stenciling. Here community members spread the word by stenciling, do not dump, drains to Catawba. In addition to careless dumping, there's another challenge for us to conquer. Sedimentation is the number one pollutant in our waters by volume. And the source of that sedimentation is the number one source is from development just like this. I think our main concern as a Quality of Natural Resources Commission is the sedimentation in our streams, the runoff from uh, construction sites or disturbed land for any reason. In our own backyards, we can prevent the problem by controlling erosion to stop runoff into our streams. QNRC routinely monitors the South Fork River and its tributaries. It also trains volunteers to sample streams in their own neighborhoods. We look for dissolved oxygen, we measure the pH, we look at nitrates, we look at phosphates. Uh, those are things that give us an indication of uh, what we call background pollution, like runoff from uh, agriculture, from uh, people fertilizing their yards, that kind of thing. The natural green area in this cow pasture is a good thing for the environment. It acts as a buffer. With the uh, buffer being the grass and the trees, uh, that filters any runoff going to the stream. In other words, it, it's a filtering system. The nutrients in the manure that could possibly enter the stream is trapped, and the, the trees are supposed to uh, utilize those nutrients. In working toward a quality environment, QNRC partners with many organizations, like the Natural Resource Conservation Service. Native grasses like these don't need fertilizer and are being studied to grow in buffer zones. In working with the Extension Service as well as QNRC, we have felt that if we could promote these grasses here in our community, that we could get the word out and, and help farmers or producers minimize the costs dealing with grazing lands and or buffers. Gaston County is blessed with unique animal and plant life. QNRC is dedicated to preserving our natural heritage. There is a deciduous magnolia called the Magnolia macrophylla that was first identified by Andre Michaud in 1796 right here uh, in Gaston County near Stanley. And uh, the fact that uh, the type site is somewhere over in Tennessee is not nearly as important as looking at his original notes and writing those notes by the light of the moon and talking about this plant that he had never seen before. And it's right here. Today, the plant can be found along the South Fork River. This is the same body of water where erosion and pollution threaten the well-being of this resource. You can see for yourself that it's a beautiful carta of forests and uh, wildlands. And the reason that more people don't enjoy it than they do is the fact that the water is so filthy. Other than the people, it's for the wildlife. Uh, as, as you can see when you float this river, you can see the, uh, 
the discoloration of the river and what kind of shape it's in. There has to be better control over the discharges that are being placed into this river. And certainly uh, for his generation and generations to come, this is a, a great resource and uh, we have to continue to work to try to improve it. After all, downstream, the South Fork becomes a reservoir. It's the drinking supply. Yes, it is, because as I say, all the water flows downhill. Somebody's drinking it downstream. As a result, we all pay. You have to spend more money on treating the water, of course, and, and that is a, a problem for municipalities, and it's also a problem for the ratepayer. That means there's greater costs to them to, to purchase water. Well water users are also in danger of contamination, thanks to QNRC. Signs like this warn residents that a well is nearby, and it's up to us to protect it. If, for example, motor oil was dumped on the ground in this area, we might logically expect that motor oil to end up in the well. On the other hand, if, if motor oil was, was spilled over yonder someplace uh, in the county, probably it wouldn't affect this particular well. So these areas are trying to define the difference between those two. The message of QNRC touches all age groups. Some volunteers go into our schools to teach young people the importance of groundwater. Maybe something I say or something that I show them on, on the model uh, may motivate one of the students to do their share or meet their responsibility in preserving our groundwater. Do not pollute it. I'd like to promote uh, a clean water and clean air in our community. Dr. Tracy sums up yet another primary concern of QNRC, air quality. Dangerous ozone levels occur on hot, still days when organic compounds and chemicals like from our cars react. The result, unhealthy conditions that can affect our respiratory systems. We're just trying to raise the public's awareness that you know we have this pollutant in the air that you can't see and you can't smell, but it's out there and you just need to take actions to protect yourself. QNRC sponsors Ozone Action Days to encourage citizens to combine our errands in one trip and fill up our cars and mow our grass in the evening, all in an effort to reduce unhealthy ozone levels. Another alternative may be driving a car with compressed natural gas one day. For now, QNRC is setting an example by helping sponsor these futuristic government vehicles powered by CNG. And what compressed natural gas does, it gives you a cleaner fuel, less emissions, less hydrocarbons, a number of those kinds of things. After all, we all must do our share to look out for our future. Our natural resources are the foundation of our community. We take that for granted, but without clean air and clean water and uh, soils that are where they're supposed to be, then that's what supports our families and our industries and our communities. As we proceed in the 21st century, we must protect our resources as a foundation for the future. Gaston County's commissioners have had the foresight to create and support QNRC, a group whose role is not to enforce but advise county commissioners on what we can do as a community and region. The challenge is to educate the general populace as to the importance of our natural resources and what we need to do to not only protect those natural resources for the present generation, but for the generations to come. The challenge is on. QNRC, Gaston County, and you are working toward a quality environment. It's up to all of us.